My name is Renee Bourgeois, and I work with the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights. Writing Relations is an initiative uh, led by the Catherine Donnelly Foundation, which is a national foundation out of Toronto. The Catherine Donnelly Foundation has focused a lot of its efforts over the years on adult education for social change. And um, they started up this initiative, Writing Relations, uh, less than a year ago. And I, I managed to get the great opportunity of being asked to be part of the steering committee, um, thanks to a local board member of Catherine Donnelly Foundation, Bob McKeon. And so out of that, um, the John Humphrey Center kind of played a pivotal role in starting to get um, the movement of writing relations going here in Edmonton. We've been doing sort of radical outreach in Western Canada for many years. So, today is our first public engagement session. This session is really meant to start to bring us together, start getting out our ideas. We're going to have a lot of dialogue at 3.30. You guys are going to have an hour of intense conversation. So writing relations is really about creating um, hubs and networks of adult learners. Um, not adult learners, but more adult educators, sorry. Um, and when we talk about adult educators, it includes, you know, community organizers, people who are working um, with uh, members of the low-income poor communities to kind of create radical social change and foster um, real change at a real grassroots level is how I kind of see it. I'd like to see an updated needs and assets so that we can um, identify what those are in diverse communities, which, and the diversity of which is increasing all the time. Um, well, part of my uh, area of research and scholarship is on community-based adult education. And so I came to the initial meeting uh, for the Writing Relations Project just to sort of see what was happening and what people's interests and goals were. Um, I also just moved to Edmonton and so I wanted to learn a bit more about what was going on in the community. And uh, then I, I was asked to be on the working group, so here I am. My name is Hanana Tatala and I'm from the New York Kenyan Development Foundation of Alberta. I came to the event because um, adult education is something that has kind of sparked a new interest in me and I wanted to see what other people's mobilizers and social agents were thinking to do to address it in the, within the Edmonton community. Um, I was hoping to collaboration was one if I liked what I saw and I saw that it was all inclusive and it was something that was really going to address um, the situation that I was hoping to kind of get ideas and hopefully collaborate and bring in all our communities together so that we can have it be a sustainable project. My name is Angelica Hernandez. I work for the Edmonton Public School Board, but I came to the Writing Relations Group through the Women's Advisory Voice of Edmonton, that is another a board for the City of Edmonton to increase women's participation in civic life. And I'm the Vice Chair for the group, so that's how I came to the Writing Relations Group. For Writing Relations, what I, I think what I see three years from now is um, starting to see these deep connections. Um, of people who are doing kind of real radical work on the ground and having connections with other people across the country. And what I like about writing relations and what I see with writing relations is that it starts to break down the um, traditional barriers we have between different communities who are doing radical change. Um, so with the focus on indigenous um, hubs and you know low income hubs, which is a challenging concept in some ways, but also focusing on immigrant, like immigrant learning hubs. I think um, there's a real interesting possibility of how we can really start to have strength and solidarity and working together. So I, I think I'll, we'll start to see some real movement and connections across grassroots movement, like grassroots organizations. I think that'll be really powerful.